columnist for the Montecito Journal, who has been covering the royal family for nearly five decades and happens now to live just down the road from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Richard Minars joins me now. Richard, good to see you today. So what, what's your take on, uh, on all of this, sir? Well, it's opened an enormous Pandora's box, but I have to say straight away, I don't think the royal family is racist. You've got to remember that for nearly half a century, the Queen has been the head of the Commonwealth, which is a number of lands around the world that were from the colonial days. And the majority of the people who live in those lands are black or Asian. So the Queen is far from being a racist. And I don't think the royal family as a whole is racist, as William said this morning in London. I mean, I think probably this came about because when you've got a baby coming, people will say, well, does it look like the dad? Does it look like the mom? Does it have the same sort of hair? Does it have the same features? And obviously, coming from a mother who's biracial and then, of course, Harry, people were saying, well, what skin tone might it have? I don't think that was said probably in a racist way, just a general uh, question about the future of the child. Like one would say, well, do you think it's going to have the eyes of its dad or is it going to have the hair of its mom? That kind of thing. And I think this is now being blown out of enormous proportion and causing a great deal of damage to the royal family who are incandescent with rage over this. And what you've got is really a, a tale of two countries where in the U.S., well, obviously with Harry and Meghan, there's a great deal of sympathy for them. And, of course, the anger that's being shown in Britain, how the monarch is being blasted by Harry and, and Meghan and the rest of the royal family. And, of course, Prince Philip is just recovering from heart surgery, and he's about to celebrate, we hope, his 100th birthday in June. And the Queen herself is going to be 95 next month and has never set a foot wrong during her reign. Well, she's enormously popular, that's for sure. And your, um, you know, your, your take on, on how this went uh, is similar to what Thomas Markle said, um, who is, you know, used to be married to Meghan's mother. Um, you know, do you think that, you know, with regard to this event in July, that'll be a moment to see whether or not these two young men come back together? Oh, yes, it's going to be terribly symbolic. Uh, if this will happen on what would have been Princess Diana's 60th birthday when they unveiled this bronze statue in Kensington Gardens, which is right next to Kensington Palace, where Charles and Diana lived and brought out the boys, William and Harry. So it's going to be very symbolic, and either it's going to be a total a situation with a great deal of squadure, or there's going to be warmth and hopefully welcome. I mean, the Queen, I think, is trying to patch up things, but it's going to be done very, very yeah. privately. And as William stated, she hasn't, he hasn't spoken to Harry yet. But it will be going to be a very interesting conversation. It's going to be a very a interesting conversation, without a doubt. I couldn't agree more. Richard Meinertz, uh, thank you very much. Good to see you today from Montecito, California. My pleasure. My thank pleasure. you. Thank you.